Jesus was like the sound of many waters. Hallelujah. Meaning that John was beholding the Lord. You see it? As a composition of nations, tongues, you saw different spirits gathered from all ends of the earth speaking hallelujah. You see, the body of the Lord has always been a many-membered many body. He might appear and reveal himself through a man. He might appear and reveal himself through different people. He might appear today in Italy. He might appear tomorrow in Australia. He might appear tomorrow in America using the bodies of those who have found themselves reconciled back to God. Hallelujah. The intention of the Alpha and the Omega is actually to gather back all the sons of God who have backslidden, who have fallen in Adam from that glory cloud and have been dispersed among the four winds of the earth. They have been dispersed to the four corners of the earth. These are the people who are languishing and perishing in the sins of Adam. Hallelujah. In reality, God by the Spirit is trying to reveal to man today that we all originated from that body which is called the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. But we all in Adam, that's in the transgression of Adam, have slipped and sunk down into the Mary clay of humanity. You see, we have now entered into this world and taken form and shape and we have called ourselves human beings identifying ourselves with the dust, identifying ourselves with the material world, and forgetting our origin, where we actually came from. So the Alpha and the Omega is here to gather us, gather people back. See, his voice is like a trumpet, and the trumpet sounds to gather people back from the extremities of the earth back into that body, back into the glory of God, hallelujah, back into their rest in God. The Alpha and the Omega is that same man that God created in the beginning. You see it, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, when God said, let us make man in our image, hallelujah, in our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, and all the earth, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his image, the image of God, he created man. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Hallelujah. You see it? God here created man in his image, like him, to rule and reign with him. See, in actual fact, God begot man. Hallelujah. You see it? That which was in God came out of God to form that which is man. And that man was created in the likeness of God. Now remember, God created one man. God never created two men or three men. Even though embodying that one man is a multitude of spirits that actually function together as one man. Amen. Now, in the transgression of Adam, what happened is that 
man has slipped away from the consciousness of that man in the beginning who is created in the image of God. And man has taken the image of the beast of the earth. See, man in his transgression has now been cut off from the life, from the glory of God. Alienated from the life of God. You see it, living in tribulation day and night and subject to the powers of death. And in the state of deep sleep and death, man has lost a consciousness of where he came from. He has lost a consciousness of his glory he has come from. Where he came from, hallelujah. But God has not forgotten. Hallelujah. That is why he is sounding the voice of the, the trumpet of the Alpha and the Omega. The voice of the Alpha and the Omega. The voice of the Son of Man is going forth now to the graveyard of humanity where men are sleeping. Hallelujah. Sleeping in, the, in ignorance. Not knowing the riches and the bountiful blessings at their disposal. Hallelujah. Not knowing lordship that is bestowed upon them. So God now you know, gives the revelation. Christ has descended from heaven. See it? And is descending again and again. Manifesting himself through those who have submitted themselves to the gospel. Hallelujah. Jesus as a man, born of a woman in a manger. Hallelujah. Actually had to remember by revelation that he was from the beginning, before God, before man. Hallelujah. Is it Jesus that confessed that he was before Abraham? You see, isn't it Jesus that said, before Abraham was, I am? He was indirectly saying then that I am the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. If you've seen me, you've seen God. Hallelujah. He was telling them there. You see, at that point in time, there are certain things that Jesus Christ could not tell them. See, but because they would simply crucify him. Before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. I created the heavens and the earth. I am the image of the invisible God. If you see me, you see God. Hallelujah. You see it? He had that revelation from the Father, that revelation saying, you are my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. You are my beloved son from the foundation of the world. You see, and he arose from the muddy clay of his human existence and took back the glory of the Alpha and the Omega. We walk in the realization of the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. As Jesus walked upon the earth, it was actually the invisible God walking and moving through him. Hallelujah. It was Jesus walking as an interface in revealing the attributes of God, revealing that invisible body of God. Hallelujah. To the whole world. Amen. No man had seen God the Father. No one had seen God but the Son. He revealed him to, to mankind. Hallelujah. So the Alpha and the Omega manifested himself in Jesus. And his intention is to gather the elect back. He's to gather you, I, and every one of us out there back into that body. Hallelujah. Back into that place where we can reign in glory once more. Hallelujah. Those who are perishing in the, in the land of Assyria, those who are perishing in the world, as they hear this trumpet, as they hear this message of the Alpha and the Omega, what they do now is to begin to remember from where they're falling. They begin to remember their lost glory. They begin to wonder, what am I doing here? 